B R B R I T T A N Y B R I T T A That's my name Come Prophesy I hear yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on somebody You shall name your child Ricky. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because that's my husband's name. Prophesy. Ah, somebody. Shall prophesy. Shall prophesy somebody. Is this your husband? Your child shall be Ricky Jr. <laughs> Amen. Ricky Jr. Prophesy. Because I moved in the realms of the spirit. This connection was written from heaven before you were born. Praise the Lord. Go deeper. Ah. Go deeper. Because I stood in 1917. I am no longer here. I am in Sweden. That's Sweden. Where huh? That's where I'm from. That's where you are from. Yes, sir. And I saw a man in the realms of the spirit. Prophesy. With a lady. And in the realms of spirit, I saw heaven opening in 1964. Prophesy. That's the and year. I saw a man in 1964. I looked in the realms of the spirit and on the bed I saw people trying to name the child. But at the end I saw them writing a name with an L. E. O. That's the name of my father. He was born 1964. Leo. Prophesied. I am in 1964. Go deeper. Leo. 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 That's my father. I moved in the realms of the spirit. I saw him in the realms of the spirit. Huh. Prophesy. Prophesy. I saw him. Go deeper. I saw him wearing a blue jean. I know this one, you don't know it, but you understand something. I am in the 80s. I'm in the year I was born in 87. I saw him visiting a city. Like Bo, Bora, Bora something. That's the city I come from, Boros. Boros. Oh my God. Oh my God. Go in deeper. 18, 1987, I saw him walking and I saw Rabasante car. Go deeper. It's like a shopping mall. It's like they are in a shop. There is a lady that dropped something and I saw him picking it up. When he's picking, I saw him looking at this lady face to face. I see him smiling. I see him pursuing over this lady. I am seeing a G and a U and an N. Yes, sir. That's the name of my mom, 1987. The year before I was born. I saw them meeting in the mall. I saw them dating each other. Yes, sir. Go I deeper. I saw her pregnant. I don't know why I don't see a wedding yet, but I'm seeing you're pregnant. It's true. I was born outside of the marriage. It's because your birth was already let. You were destined for greatness. Amen. Amen. And Amen. your Prophesy. journey started in 1917 in Sweden. Amen. Amen. When deeper. a prophetic word was released. That they shall be a man of God within the family. Amen. Libra Go deeper, Go deeper man of God. Go deeper, man of God. I moved in the realms of the spirit. I saw in May 1917. I see H A R T H A R T. That's my surname, Harty Kainan. Harty Kainan, 1917. I moved in the realms of the spirit and I saw him receiving a prophetic word and the Lord is saying, you are the one who is a light. 
who is a connection to the manifestation of this prophetic word. Amen. Amen. I receive. I receive, man of God. I saw in the realms of the spirit heaven opening. And I saw you in the realms of the spirit. I don't know why in the realms of the spirit, why there is a blessing coming to you in the month of May. I am seeing a special blessing coming to you in the month of May. Amen. I Amen. received. I received too. I'm born on May 1, man of God. Go deeper. May 1. Yes, sir. I saw 88. That's my year of birth, man of God. I saw 89. I saw a wedding. Connection in the realms of the spirit. Yes, man of God. That was when my mom and dad got married. When is they got married, I saw you being born. Yes, I was born in 89. 89. When did they marry? In 89. 89. <laughs> Prophesy. There is a connection that God placed in your lives. Amen. Go deeper. There is a special anointing that I see in the realms of the spirit. Amen. I receive. For the favor of the Lord is upon your life. I receive, man of the God. The grace of the prophetic is upon your life. Amen. I receive, you man of God. You shall carry a baby. Amen. Ah. I prophesy. Divine connections from heaven. I receive divine connections from heaven. I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. I saw someone connected to you with a name like a P A U L. It's my junior brother, Paulus. Is Paulus. His name. Yes, sir. Paulus shall carry the fire of God through you. Amen. I see the anointing of prosperity. Amen. There's an anointing of business upon you. Amen. And I there's an anointing of, of ministry upon you. I receive man of I God. I see teaching anointing. Amen. I see prophetic anointing. I receive I see man deliverance of God. anointing. I receive man I of see God. grace for salvation. I receive Your season man of God. and your time is around the corner. I and I'm about to bring a turnaround. Amen. Without just saying um, to confirm that this prophecy is true, but what did it mean for both of you guys to hear from the man of God these certain defined details of such a great prophecy? Sure. Uh, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> she does interviews all the time, and she just went for the mic. So. <laughs> I'm put my hand behind my back. <clears throat> So, you know, this prophecy really meant a lot for us because um, in, for those of you who know us uh, and for those of you that don't, um, this, you know, relationship between us has been a very long time coming and God has truly blessed us together. And it was just such a confirmation to hear that our coming together um, was divinely set in heaven from before we were born. And our story is very unique in that... Um, I'm a girl from Tri-Cities, Washington, born and raised, and he's from Sweden. And we met each other in Lagos, Nigeria, and uh, we, weren't, we were in a place where we were not even allowed to be friends, and yet somehow we still found each other, and God brought us together. And so it really brought, it brings a really great confirmation for the two of us that, you know, it was set in heaven from the beginning, and no matter what was going to happen, no matter what we went through, um, at the ages of 29 and 30, yes, we're old, that we found each other <laughs> in two different countries, and so that is my encouragement that truly whoever God has destined for you, it doesn't matter what age you are, he will bring you together in his own way and time, and you can clearly see from the prophetic message that was given to us that it was God's divine will. Amen. Amen. And uh, Ricard, what would you like to share what that uh, he completely just went into a d defined detail about your guys' family line all the way to 1917? What, what did it mean for you? Praise God. Um, the prophecy yesterday was really amazing. Um, I have been doing family research since yesterday. Uh, 1917 is a little bit before my time, but I've been asking parents and grandparents and so on. And uh, 1917, my great-grandfather was actually born and he was um, the only Christian in the family. And he was the one that started and set our family's line into the path of Jesus Christ. And he was also known to be a, a healing minister and, and really fasting and praying and being close to Jesus and all that. So... 
And I'm still trying to find out about, about, I know that the man of God, what he said was true about the prophecy and, and all that. So I'm asking my grandparents and I'm waiting to hear back from them and everything. So anyway, the message of prophecy, it really encouraged me. Um, I have lived close to prophets pretty much all my life. Um, I have seen a lot of miracles and a lot of things uh, happening. And as someone that has always been serving, working during the service pretty much, I've always seen other people being touched. And because I've always been working in, in the church, I, I kind of felt deprived of the blessings that people come to church to do. And I know many people that might be serving a lot may identify with this. And um, sometimes I just thought that, wow, here I am serving, I want to work for God, and, and yet, you know, the blessing seems to pass me by. But, but I felt yesterday that it was just an encouragement to those that are serving, that are working for God, that many times you might not be the one to receive a message of prophecy, like the people that are sitting down enjoying the service, but God Almighty sees what you're doing in the secret place. <laughs> And um, um, also, uh, as I said, I, I mean, my family watched on Facebook, on YouTube, and they were all shocked. And, and the way that he went into detail, I, I mean, I've lived in, I've been in this church now for three months, and many of the things nobody here knows. Some of the stuff even my wife didn't know. It's, it's to show that God Almighty really sees everything, and he knows exactly where you're at right now in your life, and he knows where you're coming from, and he knows where you're going. And, and he is really guiding. And, and uh, so it was really an encouragement for me, having seen all that and never actually, to be honest, I've never received a prophetic message before in my life. So coming to this conference, I, I, I've, I'm at a cro I've been at a crossroad where I've been kind of asking God, like, which path should I go? Because I always go all in. Whichever path I choose, I go all in. And so I've been like... Should I go towards business or should I go towards ministry? What does God really want me? I've been seeking God. And this conference I came and I told God, I, I think many of us, we should be bold when we speak to God. I told God, God, you're my father. I need to hear from you. I need a confirmation. You have to speak to me this week. I need to hear something from you, God. Just a confirmation that, that I'm on the right path. And, and obviously, as, as the message of prophecy said, you can have it all. You don't need to choose one direction. God can give you grace for all directions as you follow his word. Amen. And do any of you have just any last words of encouragement for those that are watching on live stream or that are here today and maybe it's your, their first time about the, you know, hearing about prophecy and maybe they're skeptical or they don't know how to respond to this. What would be your encouragement or advice? So my advice to everybody is, you know, be expectant. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. Be expectant. But know that if for some reason on this weekend that you don't receive a word of prophecy or you come here and, and many of us are here because we're really hoping that God is going to speak to us. My encouragement to you is, is um, take take encouragement from my husband Ricard you know he went his whole life he served nine years in Nigeria amongst a great prophet never once received a word of prophecy but he kept serving and working and doing the work of God and trusting God and growing in his prayer life and growing in his relationship with God and only now at the age of 30 is he ever receiving his very first word of prophecy ever in his life and I want to tell you that what matters most is your relationship with Jesus with your relationship with the Holy Spirit and God will speak to you wherever you are at so don't give up. Don't lose heart. Take every prophecy that people are receiving here and take it for yourself and take it home and pray those promises for your own life in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>